What's up guys, John here, and welcome back to Just Cause 3, or the first time actually. Actually no, I've done live streaming and stuff on Just Cause 3. But today I'm playing the land DLC, which is the Le mech land DLC, I'm not exactly sure what it's called. But I know it goes air, land, sea, DLC, and this is the second DLC, waiting for the third. This one's pretty fun though, I really do like the anti-gravity guns and everything this uh, mech has. As you can see, it just demolishes cars and everything in its path. It's really overpowered, it's, it's almost impossible to stop, but eventually it'll die because it's got... Like, you know, a health bar just like any other vehicle. But it's got a very high health bar and it takes a while to take out. But the main thing I wanted to talk about is um, Just Cause 3 multiplayer. You know, there is a mod in development right now for PC, but console players aren't going to get that. So I'm not like, I'm kind of disappointed. I don't know. When I, Just Cause 2, like when I heard Just Cause 3 was coming out, I kind of expected some multiplayer. I don't know. I don't know if, if I expected, but I kind of like thought they would put it in. Maybe I wasn't 100%. I thought it'd be hard because it's a huge game, but I thought, oh, it's an extra gen, they can do it, but they, I guess they can't because the game's glitching already and everything. But I mean, I feel like there has to be a way. I really wish they would make like, a DLC. Like, as you can see, this mech just tosses the tank, but that's off topic. But um, anyways, but, like, I really feel like they could make like a DLC or something, maybe like a $10 or $20 DLC where they added a multiplayer. And I feel like, obviously, it wouldn't be, like, most consoles would not be able to run it very easily. Or all PS4s wouldn't be able to. So, I was thinking they could do something like they do Crackdown 3 or whatever it's called, Crackdown, I don't even know, it might just be called Crackdown, not like a restart, remaster. But, uh, yeah. They could have, like, cloud servers running on the thing. And instead of, like, just one Xbox One running all the destruction that's in Crackdown 3, they have a bunch of cloud servers, so it's like 10 ox boxes or something like that that could run at one time if they need to. That's what I hope, for. I, like, I wish they could do that for just Call 3. I don't know if that's just because, like, Crackdown made a deal with Microsoft or something. They could do that with Sony, that'd be amazing, because, I know, multiplayer DLC, like, a ton of people would pay for it. 20, even $30, maybe, people would pay for it, so I know I would. And Or if they brought, like, a, made the game $60 again with the multiplayer DLC in it, you know, just, like, I feel like there's gotta be a way they could do this, like, I mean, even, the, like, PC gamers, they're gonna get the DLC and everything, and it'll probably be pretty cool, but it still won't be, like, game developer made and approved and everything, you know, I mean, the, the developers do approve it, I know, but... I really want the developers to make their own multiplayer DLC. And then we can, like, you know, everyone can play it. Like, not just, like, this PC mastery stuff, which annoys me because just people that have more money, basically. Even though PCs can be cheaper, but it's a lot more annoying. You have to have to spend a lot more time. Basically, for people who are really hardcore, even though I'm kind of hardcore, so making a stupid video on a game. <laughs> not really stupid. I think it needs to be. Like, it should be brought to developers, like, attention. Like, people would pay for a multiplayer DLC, like 30, maybe even 40. 40 is pushing it, because that's almost the price of the original cost of the game, but if you had a lot of features with the multiplayer DLC and the cloud servers and everything, if they could get that to work, and a ton of people would buy it. And it's not even, like, you could release it for PC too, because people would still play the mod, I guess, because if it's free, but, you know, some people would buy the actual version for PC too, but console gamers would eat it up. I know there's a lot of people that have wanted DLC. I mean, multiplayer, like, and a lot of people that I don't even have Just Cause would buy Just Cause literally just for the multiplayer. Like, I have a few friends who, like, look, yeah, the game's fun, they say, and everything, but they're not really fans of Just Cause that much. They're, like, they'll play it at my house and stuff just to have fun, but they won't really, like, buy it themselves because they never played it at their home. But if there was an actual DLC, like a multiplayer DLC, then they'd play it. And, you know, they'd buy the game. That'd be, like, 100 bucks right there, so. There's a lot of money to be made in multiplayer, even if cloud servers would cost a lot. And it'd be so much fun. This this game would be amazing. Imagine, like, I mean, it doesn't even have to, I mean, I mean 100 people would probably, like, it would require a lot of people just to even find someone because it's such a huge map. And I know 100 people would be hard to run. But cloud servers, I feel like 100 people could be possible. If Crackdown's doing it where you could destroy literally the entire city with all the skyscrapers and everything, pretty sure just cause could do it somehow maybe you need a maybe like connection obviously you need to always be connected to the internet because you are playing multiplayer so i just don't see why they like at least try it you know just sign a contract with sony or something but yeah that's just really my thoughts on multiplayer and everything it's happening i mean obviously people just say oh we'll just buy a pc you know it just, it's just, it's hard, so hard to move from console to PC, cause most all my friends are on PC, I mean a console, and it's a lot harder to like, you know, like, make your own PC and get all the parts and learn all the PC specs, it's annoying just to move and spend all that money, just, even though it probably would be a better long term investment, but I just feel like I really want an official developer game, a multiplayer. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.